Good evening, everyone, and hello to all the viewers that jumped on a bit <laughs> early on Twitch. Evening I'm Judge show. James. I'm Judge Evie. Welcome to the legendary Walls Dungeon Tavern, and this is Living for Crits. Look, something Jen got me behind Babu Frick here is my new our new Living for Crits. Dun, dun, dun. You know what? A lot of other shows would have uh, you know a real fancy like banner across the bottom. It's electronic. We just nah. have. You want to take a spaceship? Anyway, hope everyone's having a, a good night. Had a good Christmas. If that's what you you do at your home, you're ready for a happy New Year. Um, <clears throat> you know, we were talking to some of. Uh, well, I was talking to uh, my my pal Thorin, and they had mentioned how the the Goodman Games feed is going to like host us or whatever. When is it hosting? hosting? This? Yeah, well, they're gonna host us when they don't have a show on on, on Sundays. So I'm not sure if that's like right now or Should or what. Uh, you can. I'm okay. not sure why it's happening, but I'm sure with the content they're gonna start getting, they're gonna be like, "What the hell did we agree to?" Yeah, they're gonna be like, this "How is, the is this anything to do with Dungeon Crawl Classics and Twitch. Goodman Games stuff?" But anyway, so Dev's here, Eric's here, Greg's here, Keith's here, Flex is here. Dev's here. I already said Dev is here. You did already say that. Let's get into the happy holidays of the show. Our next portion just says banter, banter, banter. So yeah. I hope you all have some good gaming Oh my god, we are there. Week. Oh crap. Goodman Games is hosting us. So I oh. guess you can watch from either. Oh. Sorry, Goodman Games. We for I this. can chat. Oh. Yes, fine. Merry Merry Christmas, Eric. And uh and Happy New Year. Do 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 do. Um uh, and anyway, what was I gonna say? Uh, do, 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 do. Oh yeah, gaming. Did you guys game this week? Uh, no. Did you game last Tuesday? Nope. Oh, well that sucks for you. Mm -hmm. I got some gaming in this morning. We were playing. Ha ha! It's twenty twenty, Greg. This morning, uh, our Sunday group finished uh, Twilight of the Old Gods, and then what? oh, there's obvious. There's two. There's two separate chats, really. I'll have to what? keep that in mind. Maybe you should monitor the Goodman chat. Can you do that? I don't, do that. I don't know. Just go on there. Is there a chat over there? I don't know how this works. Maybe it doesn't work this way. Who knows? Uh, this is a know. week of holiday gaming for us. So this morning, Twilight of the Old Gods. Is it Twilight of the Old Gods? Yeah. We finished that. No, it's, I'm sorry. No. Not Twilight. Return of the Old Gods. The Old Gods Return. Crap, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the one where you have to fight like a like an antlered beast that traps children in in uh, in in Christmas trees. And then on uh, so yeah, that's that was a that was a thing. And then on uh, Tuesday morning, I'm running uh, Rats of Ilk Ilkmar, and Wednesday night we're gonna finish Unholy Nights in Lankmar. And then Thursday we have a special New Year's evil event for new year's eve and i'm running x crawl online you know and Man. we've had some people ask how do we how can i game with you and it really is pretty easy you just find me on twitter and say judge james can we have a game and i will put something together we will game so it is not hard uh, do not be intimidated i love running games online for people and i love introducing people to dungeon crawl classics so if that's a game you want to try then I am your bunny rabbit. As you can see, I'm wearing Dude, a fancy bunny costume. That. You are wearing an astronaut's costume. Yeah, I am. My wife got us uh, special. This is NASA, and then I got. Oh, wait. Yeah. And then there's one of them. Mission here. control to go to you. Yep. No, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just doing that. Yep. Oh. Lex got Grave Matters for Christmas. Yeah, it's awesome adventure. And that's right, you were there. Ooh. You were there for it. You're using those same pregens actually for Rats of the Ilkmar leveled up a, a level. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, sorry. But yeah, it's been a it's gonna be a good week of gaming for me. You're not playing. Are you playing on Thursday? Are you playing Eagles Evil with me? I don't know. Wait, let's take a look. Is Judge Evie playing I think you are playing on New Year's Evil. I am. Wait, what time? Uh, it's in the morning. Oh. Aren't you playing that? We should find out. I feel like if Judge Evie is not playing on New Year's Evil with me, it's kind of a shame. But well, I mean, I didn't. I didn't know this was even happening. Well, how did you not know? Uh. 
I'm gonna go look. Let's see. Are you playing? Unless you put me in, then I'm not playing because I don't remember this. Oh, you're not playing. Mm -hmm. Sucks to again. Sucks to be you. I'm sorry. Well, I didn't. Okay. Anywho, all right. So uh, let's let's move along. Our 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 topic tonight is stuff we got for. Hey, guess what time it is? It's not the, tea time. It's Please not tea me. time. It's the time where my lovely wife brings us drinks and we have special coasters. Woo! I, this is not for adults. This is for adults. <laughs> this is not for. This is for adults only. Only here for you know. Yeah. Coffee? What kind? We have coffee. What kind, did you what have? kind of coffee do we have here? Decaf Duncan for. Hmm. Decaf Duncan <laughs> for Jimmy. <laughs> so stay at the mug. And so stay at the mug. And French vanilla for Judge Evie. Oh, I don't get decaf. Well, thank you, Heck Jen. Yeah, I'm gonna be up all night. Thank you, Next Jen. Mom. Birth the penguin. Oh, so hot. I'm sorry, I say that? Mm. Oh, sorry, I can't tell my birth. Yes, we are off script. I'm sorry, Eric, we are off script. But it's the holidays. Do ever have a good script, Yeah, you know, no? the thing is, we actually do have a really... Jo Jordan says, isn't the slug lord, which DCC patron is the pink bunny? I don't know, but if anyone was going to write it up, it would be Reed Sanfilippo. So if you want to, because like he has like the Pamburglar as a patron, I think. Oh. All right. Let's get back on track. Let's let's get back on script. Let's go into Judge if he presides. Did you bring the duck mask? I don't have the duck mask down get here. Get the duck mask. No, don't bring get the duck mask. The duck mask. No, do Judge Evie presides. Let's. Sorry. This is the portion of the show I'm where you send us questions and we the answer duck them mask. live, but not live. Live on Twitter. Twitch. Yeah, they're a duck mask too, in the same spirit as the Mucositron Rex slug mask. Yep. You're we got welcome. a bunch of, I find some welcome. new viewers tonight. I do apologize. This is usually how this goes. Uh -huh. Usually less Adam Driver and Bobby. What do Frick. you mean? Okay. <clears throat> all right. Um, sup? I don't know if this is all the questions I think it is. All right. Who's this from? Uh, this one's from Brian. And, cool. Uh, okay. Hi, Brian. It was sent to me three days ago. That's Just okay. Wondering. On Christmas, then. What? 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 Wow. Okay. Um. What? What? What voice should I do it in? Do it in a voice that people can understand. Do it in your best Adam Driver impression. No, I. I, I can. He's too perfect. I can't do that. No, you could do it. No, no. I'm gonna do it in a nice. Um. I'll do your impression. I'll do an impression of you. Merry Christmas, Judge E.B. and Judge T. This is me? Yeah, you talk really loud. Is this how I sound? Yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Keep going. Holiday questions for you. Happy <laughs> oh, Okay, keep going. Have you... <laughs> keep, keep going. Keep going. Have you ever run any spy SB and espionage? Espionage? Es we even practiced the word. You guys said it, and I wasn't paying attention. Espionage. Esp I said that! Yeah. Espionage games, either a specific espionage RPG or a DCC with some spy missions. It seems like more would be great setting for this since... Fafford? Fafford, yes. Fafford and the Grey Mouse, they had to do the bit when they infiltrated the Thieves Guild. Yep. Judge Evie, have you run any espionage adventures? I don't know what that means, so no. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay. Um, so, uh, yes, I have run espionage-esque adventures. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting a Bernie <laughs> Sanders vibe from that, too, which is amazing since I'm not from New York. My little bit of Philly accent mixed in with my 18 years of Pittsburgh accent mixed in with the I don't know, a bit of my <laughs> Italian <laughs> mother's like like accent. I don't know what you're going for here. Um, I've run some espionage stuff, but it's been a while. I've run quite a bit of espionage uh, style adventuring in 4th edition D&D. We had a campaign that took place in Planescape and Sigil. So that had some espionage in it, but it was still D&D. Uh, I played a lot of 4th edition, if you didn't know. And then uh, the closest to DCC is Heists. I've run a lot of Heist adventures. Heist. Uh, I'm very excited, really, really excited for the uh, Greatest Thieves of Lankmar uh, box or adventure coming out soon because I ran that at Gen Con two years ago and or a year and a half ago, whenever that was. And that was a really good adventure, a really good, uh, really good uh, uh, event. So 
But uh, you know what? I think there could be more espionage gaming. I, I mean, I, I haven't done that much espionage gaming in my career, mostly just in my gaming career, so I can't speak to it that well. Is there a second part? Oh, yeah. I'll say this enough. Here, I'll do your Philly accent then, okay? Okay. Okay. Um... You're just going to do Aunt Mary Pat. No, I know. I have, to, I, have okay. to, I have to try. All right, all right, all right. Come on. I haven't done it in no, a while. No, just, just do it. My Philly accent. I'm saying I'm going to do it wrong. No, uh, go. I, uh, 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 <laughs> I got to get the ah. Uh. <laughs> this is Judge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very interested. <laughs> that is, what was that? We can't even get through Judge Evie presides. I should note, if you want to see questions get totally demolished on this by Judge Evie, send them to GC, dccjudgeevie at gmail.com. Uh, I'm very interested. I can't do it right now. I just what. say it. Say the question. I'm very Poor Brian. Here. More about alternative. A TSR game I never encountered. Could you discuss this in more detail if you've adapted it to wrong with the DCC, NCC, or other system? <laughs> what was that? What kind of, like, accent was that? I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, Alternity is kind of a system in of itself, so I don't quite know how you would adapt <laughs> it to another system. You could definitely take some themes out of it, like the edges and hindrances, but I would just use... If I was to do something like that, I would just borrow Benizens and Dooms from Lankmar and throw it into Starcrawl if I was going to run something akin to Alternity. I don't quite <laughs> get some of the, let's mix this into that, uh, that's out there. Like I know that right now there is a, or there was going to be a Kickstarter for uh, Savage Worlds Pathfinder, which I don't understand why you would have like two systems um, crossing winds. I think someone did say on here at one point that it's it's the, the it's the Pathfinder universe, but I don't know what that means. I don't play Pathfinder, so I don't like math. I don't like math the same it's way that Judge Evie doesn't like pronouncing words correctly. Next I, question. I love pronouncing words correctly. Next question. No, no. Now it just says he would play in a game, but not over the next six weeks because he'll be in Singapore. Okay. Well, when you're when he's back, Brian, when you're back from Singapore, let's Singapore. let's sing up Singapore. Singapore. No, I said Singapore. You're in Singapore. When you're back from Singapore, Singapore. Uh, we hit me up and we we will set up a game. Nope. Cheese. Cool. Now we All have right. a wrap. We're going to do this. All right, so we've done this before. This is going to be oh, even yeah. better with our uh, outfits on. But we are going to do a, a beatbox magical item by Greg. So, uh, yep. so, 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 I zip up the whole leg. so regular every week viewer Greg here is, sends us in, uh, you know, uh, a, 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 a magical. I think this started by he sent us some kind of something to read mm -hmm. and we beatboxed it. And now it's a regular thing. So this is, what What item is this by Greg Schwartzkopf? It's a globe packed with feathers by Greg Schwartzkopf. This is going to be great. I tell you what, anyone who's watching from Goodman Games, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You're getting a beatbox magic item. <clears throat> I, I couldn't do this to... last week because I was sick. Ready? I will not be able to pronounce after this. Tell me when to drop the beat. Pronounce it the best way you can and just keep moving. If you screw it up, it's even better. I'm going to screw Ready? it up. Ready? Yep. Tell me when to start. Go. The globe packed with feathers is perfectly clear. Though debate could be hard to exit a sphere. On your turn, you consider the action you're picking. Break the glass, you summon unled headless chicken. I'm presuming, of course, that it runs with the undead. The poor creepy creature runs around with no head. With confronting a villain with numerous goons, this caper and kaboom will make them buffoons. Lest the with power will save successfully, you know they're compiled to pursue the problem you can't crow. <laughs> Leaving their boss undefended, I hear undead headless chickens will feel the fear. Finding a willing was at the end of the bag, now he'll cook their party headless chicken eggs. Alright! Headless Chicken Egg by Greg Schwarzkopf! Beatbox by says, Evie. I'll stop doing this whenever you tell me to. No, Don't keep going! Stop. Keep going! Alright! Let's move on. Let's move on to the main topic tonight. Again, you can always send us questions to dccjudgeevee at gmail.com. That's dccjudgeevee at gmail.com. What we got for Christmas. We lost so many people! We lost few, four viewers through that. But the eight we kept are the eight that count. The, the real ones. Is it is it like EV temp now? Yeah. 
So some of the items we got are gaming focused and some of them are not, obviously. And I think mine were more gaming focused and yours weren't. So we thought we'd talk about what we got. We would love to hear anything especially you got. Uh, you can put that in the comments and we'll chat it out or you can put it in the comments below on YouTube and we can talk about it next week, maybe, you know? If there's something you think that we should have gotten and we didn't get, then let us know and we would we will look it up. But I'm gonna start with the cutest thing we got, which my, I'm gonna move our Living for Chris sign. Here, hold on. Oh, so Duck has what's the cutest thing you got. No, uh, wow. my son got me Babu Frick. Babu Frick, what do you think of the Living for Chris show? That, that's very, what else, Babu Frick? Hello, I'm Babu Frick. All right, so this was from uh, that last Star Wars movie, that hot mess. And, uh, you know, uh, but it's uh, one of my favorite characters from that movie. So that's cool. It was the only good thing I liked from that movie, I think. So there we go, you know. That's, that's it. My son, I, I'm, I'm a fan, and this was quite cute. I don't know how to use this for gaming. But I, we definitely wanted to bring him on the show because he makes as much sense on the show as an Adam Driver okay, uh, blanket. This, this one, just look at the glory. The glory guy. Oh, Would wait, you say wait. there's glory in I Adam like Driver? This, I like this picture down here. And then there's this one. Wait, wait, wait. I, gotta get it. I did buy this for Judge Evie. Here, here. There's <laughs> absolutely no gaming reason we have this. That's not true. It's unless true. you great. wanted to use it as a battle mat. Which, you know what? To use it as a battle great. mat where you put it on a table, that could be something. Each head of Adam could be like a different place. I asked for terrain for Christmas. And you got and Adam driving? I got two pieces of terrain, but things I wouldn't expect, okay? And my wife got these, and I was actually pretty geeked about them. So the first thing she got me, uh, as you may have seen in previous videos, we are big fans of Dwarven Forge. We have our setup over there right now. Can you move over so people can see the table maybe? Or no? Other way. You can't see it. We got a game coming up. We still haven't done it yet. But knowing how much money buying the Dwarven Forge volcanoes cost, Jen got me a Kids Labs volcano making kit that Yay! I can, I guess, mold myself and then paint it. And then she bought me LED lights to drop into it. So, yay. I don't know when this is going to happen. But, yay. Volcano, volcano kit. Woo! If it works well, it's a good, cheap way to do terrain. Um, I did, it does sound messy, Eric. Uh, on the flip side, uh, a little more I mean, easy to work with is I just dropped like a hundred and some odd dollars on aquarium terrain that I got uh, on Amazon so I can do jungle scenes. So like little palm trees and stuff. And I bought two more battle mats that aren't um, Adam Driver. But oh, I've so always funny. wanted a stone colored, colored battle mat, and Jen actually did this up pretty well. So this here, I don't even know where she got this. It looks like stone. It's a battle mat, but actually, actually, it's it's a tablecloth. So it's a full size tablecloth that looks like stone. So we can have it down here in the dungeon, and it can fit the aesthetic of the Walls Dungeon Tavern. Or I could use it for a battle mat. And I think just to have a DCC game or any RPG for that reason on this kind of table is going to be pretty rad. So this this may be one of my favorite things I got for Christmas rad. next to this costume, which is five trillion degrees. It's hot. It's going to have, some, it's have fuzz in your hand. Yeah. So here's some comments here. Uh, Dev says that his mom bought him the PDF of Purple Planet, but she's still waiting for it to come in the mail. She bought the PDF of Purple Planet. Wait a second. I don't think it's going to come in the mail. Wait, what? Um, you... Unless I'm missing out here. Dev also says somewhere in Medieval Times is issuing their is icing is icing their linens. What does ising linens mean? Oh, missing your linens. I'm guessing you just missed the M. His, his, oh, his missing was missing an M. I'm like, is Issing a term? <laughs> Judge Evie, but besides this epic blanket, what Ooh. other thing did you get that's more gaming related? I'll show this off. This I, I like should this. note, there's no modules and stuff, because we did kind of have a, we, we, I, what I asked for Christmas was things I wouldn't think of. 
Because, I mean, I just order stuff all the time on Amazon or, or on, uh, on Offered Off Goodman's site. I went and pre-ordered the Ships of the Expanse for, um, uh, from uh, Crab Green Ronin this weekend. So I'm always just grabbing things like that. I've got a whole bunch of, uh, of um, Reaper Minis coming. That I think actually came already. There's in a box in the garage. So I, we asked for things that aren't typical, things we would get. But uh, I got this for Judge Evie. Want to show this off and not just flip through it? Like, it's idioms. I know. Why don't you show the viewers what it is? the idioms. So Where I got Evie great? the Ultimate RPG Character Backstory Guide uh, by yeah. James D'Amato. Um, I'll model I think it. he is a big deal uh, in like maybe the, the D&D world. Um, and the reason I got it for was so that Evie's characters have more than one dimension. Mm-hmm. Which usually doesn't happen. No, your characters are all just you. Yeah. That's okay. Yep. And the other uh, gift that Evie got this year. Oh, should I get it out? Why don't you get it out and play our viewer something? What should I play? Whatever you want to play. So Judge Evie's been playing the ukulele, and she has upgraded. Five. Okay, wait. I can do it back here because it's too tiny over here. Eric says there's great stuff in that book, Evie. Worth a read. It's camp. So just, why don't you show off what you got? I have to do up here, though. But that's okay. Show off what you got. I'm gonna I got up. a guitar, guys. Can you see it? They can see it. Okay, cool. What do I, what do I play? Whatever you want to play. Play something short for people. I'll make up something. That's cool. Ooh, wait, I'll put this thing on. It sounds better. Solve Did I buy the Expanse Minis? There are Expanse Minis? No, I I bought I bought the uh, Expanse RPG though. I don't know what I'm doing, but I can play some things. Well, just play play a little bit. Play what you've learned in the last week. Play in something. Two days. In the last two days, play something you learned in the last two days. Uh, uh, my fingers hurt. We'll play anyway. This is awkward. I know. That's all right. This is weird. You sang a whole song on here once. Yeah, that was awkward. Cool. They're asking to play A, B, C, D. Like, you can't play anything more complicated than that. Why don't you show them up? That's so pretty. That's the, that's the, the song, what's it called? By Green Day, right? Yeah. Asking for Oasis. Did you did you learn any of the Oasis songs Mom likes? Uh, no. I think we were working on that one song she liked. Yeah, well, not yet. I think we were working on Wonderwall or something. Well, yes, one do, 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 I can do the end. That was Green Day. This is what our house is like. It's music. <laughs> it's basketball. When Cooper's basketball. Oh my God, we just have a living for Chris like basketball. We got a this thing called uh, what's it called? Papa shot. Papa shot, which is like a basketball like arcade game we got in the garage in the in the basement too. We start wrapping up, I think. So that's that was Christmas. Oh yeah, should I come back? Yeah, that was okay. Christmas Wait, in the in the walls in the walls household. You know. I know, and however, I know some folks celebrate their Christmases differently, uh, so however you, you choose to celebrate yours, I hope you had a, a, a good one, if you if you celebrate it. Duffy, you am back. I say I keep saying that because I know like, not everyone, I don't want to make the assumption, you know, like we are not religious, but we celebrate like the secular Santa Christmas. Oh, here you go. So, here I go. I'm not going anywhere. Hi. Anyway. All right, so let's start wrapping up here a little bit, so you get out of this sweat box here. Let's go to a pub. Um, all right, so uh, Kickstarter shoutouts. I don't have anything this week, and I would still love to see more uh, more Kickstarters from somebody. So if you think we missed something, please let us know, and we will we will bring something up. 
Um, but we'd love to see some shouts. Road crew shout outs. You know, Goodman Games did a great post today. Uh, Harley Stroh did it, just showing people, pointing them towards the Goodman Games event page. And uh, if you go to goodmangames.com and then to events, and you can eventually get to all the open events out there in a calendar. So if you want to get on a game, it is easier than ever to get into a DCC game or MCC game or even uh, one of Goodman Games' 5e products, one of their games. So if, you, if that is the way that you roll. So, you know, please think of that as a way to, uh, to enjoy some gaming if you can't find a group. Um, if you're really trying to find a group and you can't find one, then, you know, heck, email us. We'll, we'll try to hook you up with some folks and broadcast okay. you out in the internets. Um, all right, something different for this featured organization for good this week. Uh, our featured organization for good this week is you. Our, our, our viewers and our listeners to those who don't like to look at us and just want to like listen and stuff in the background. People so as we, that? I mean, some people could. As we approach the new year, remember that you can make a difference. And, but you know, this, I'm not talking about organizations, but you know, my, our request this year is for people to look out more for people around them that need help. You know, uh, we, we've been broadcasting through the year different organizations or movements or in some cases politicians that, you know, we're asking for support. But this year, we'd like you to look at your friends and your family. <coughs> <coughs> but don't just wait for them to ask for help because they won't. <coughs> Crap, I'm coughing now. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I, I see people, I'm with myself, put a post on. If anyone needs anything, please let us know. You know, if anyone needs, you know, help with groceries or help with a bill or something like that, don't be afraid to ask us. And then someone told me, you know, kind of pulled me aside and said, you know, people that really do need things, they may not ask for support, you know. Uh, so, I mean, I thought I'd share just a brief story, you know, like a decade ago, because uh, our family's come a long way in, in, in 10 years. So 10 years ago, um, I mean, I lost my job and I, we were in bad financial shape. And I remember that at the time, we had no money coming in. And for a period of time, for a few months, we had to get assistance for, for food and stuff, you know? And, and it was, I was so embarrassed to do it. And I feel terrible about this now. That like, my, I made Jen like go to the store. I wouldn't go. I was like so, I felt so like defeated. So I couldn't get a job. It was 2011. And, uh, but I didn't ask anyone for help. We, we were just so resistant to it. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think that oftentimes people uh, are sometimes so, uh, want to act strong, act like they're tough, but don't realize they might need something. And I know GoFundMe is a great way to do that. But if you know someone right now that needs something, needs help, needs uh, a little bit of kindness, you may just have to do it for them. Get them, you know, get them groceries, send them a gift card. If you think that they won't accept something from you, then maybe have it be anonymous or say you won something. Make up a little white lie. You won something and you're going to split it with them. Whatever. But uh, look for some ways. If you have, if they know it's you, you can ask them to pay it forward. I've done that. <clears throat> uh, buy them dinner. Whatever. But um, let's try to take care of each other a little more in 2021. And that means our friends, that means our family, that means uh, our chosen family, our friends who have become family. And, uh, you know, I think in our culture, especially in the United States, there's this, um, there's this, I don't know, uh, we're, we're just all, we all want to act like we're just, uh, uh, we're never poor, we're never out of money, we're, we're just like, you know, we're millionaires down in our luck. We're all just as, as rich as the billionaires at the top, you know, and I'm not going to get political here, but really we have to take care of each other. And we're going to be trying to do more of that this year, and we hope you will too. So there's my soapboxing for the year. All right, Judge Evie, where can find... Oh, we have some comments here. Uh, Keith says, yeah, it's cool. Keep putting out the word. I'm doing okay right now, but my boss was super cool at the beginning of the pandemic and told me if I need anything to ask. I said, I don't need anything. So he has stabilized uh, my life financially, so I want to figure something out to help my small community. That's awesome. And, you know, I, 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 I'm very fortunate. I work for a good company and have a wonderful boss. So, uh, you know, just, and, and we, we work hard and we're a, a tough group, a tough organization and, and we're working every day. But, you know, when things are rough this year and, you know, I mean, I didn't take my vacation this year. I couldn't, they're too busy, you know? 
uh, when things were rough, you know, at, at least we have uh, have a job. And there are a lot of people right now who don't have jobs because of the pandemic. And uh, to think about what's happening right now in the world is um, it's still sad, you know, to think and especially right now how much people are the fact is people worry about a wave right now. People post holiday people still aren't locking down and still you know, have no problem watching someone or letting someone else's grandparents pass away uh, because they don't want to wear a mask in public or they have to go out to Applebee's. So, anyway. <clears throat> um, Judge Evie, where can people find us online? Uh, 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 you can find us at I Live for Crips on Twitter, Living for Crips on our very well-used Instagram. Um, and then starts living for Chris on YouTube. My very last Christmas and holiday wish I would ask for is if you enjoy the show, we are trying to spread the word. This is not monetized. This is not, we don't get anything through this. It's just, we like to have a good time. I like to, we like to try to showcase off some of our weird fun. So if you enjoy the show, whereas other shows may ask for whatever the, the tips or the things, the dollars that Twitch gives you, all we ask you to enjoy the show please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing on YouTube. Or if you watch on Twitch, just, you know, you can retweet us when we post about the show. Or you could just say why you like the show, broadcast it to your friends, and ask them to take a watch. And no, uh, this is no no uh, negativity towards anyone that, uh, that, that uses Twitch as a means of making money. I'm just saying that, you know, in lieu of cash, give it to someone who needs it. Uh, we would love to spread more word about our Living for Chris craziness. And you can see more of us doing this. So, yep. All right. So, everyone, be kind, be safe, be healthy. I said that backwards. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. And our outro ASMR, I'm just going to say, ooh. Be grooching live. Huh? Begrudging lie. Remember, you couldn't no. pronounce begrudgingly, so you called. You said begrudgingly, begrudging lie. I didn't say that. You said begrudging lie. Anyway, um, I'm just. It's a begrudging lie. Um, I was gonna say, uh, Adam Driver is a lot better than than. Where's he at? Where's Babu Freak? He's gone. And that guy. Babu Freak. Freak, whatever his name is. Next, Babu Freak. <laughs> He's a babu freak, babu freak, he's babu freak. All right, we're good. That's it. Happy New Year. Goodbye. Bye.